So growing up in the 70s, you know, Bruce was everywhere. He was, you know, in the movies, and he was a big star. I mean, think about it, he was the first uh, Asian uh, American, like, superstar. And, you know, he made it really cool to be, you know, this big martial arts sensation and, and be an Asian guy. I looked up on it on so many different levels, and I, and I love martial arts, and I, and I love Bruce Lee, but as I started learning, hey, this is what he was trying to teach. This is what his message was. And really, it was becoming an eclectic martial artist and not just saying, this is my one style, because that's what he went through. He was saying that he went through this system of training, and eventually it led back to, hey, you know, it has to be mixed. It has to be complete. And really, that's, that was what I really appreciated later as I, as I was getting older, saying, hey, this is, you don't have to be locked into a system. And like I said before, he was 50 years ahead of his time. And people are still catching up to his philosophy and his his belief system uh, as far as martial arts today. So, you know, he was a really a really special special martial artist, and I think that's why people still gravitate to him today, and why he's still cool with the young kids today, because you know he he was a, a special human being that had a great message.